Easter is a time to remember that Jesus Christ is the great Redeemer. As we reflect on his infinite atonement, including his suffering in the Garden of Gethsemane, his crucifixion and glorious resurrection, we're filled with hope and we can feel his love and we grow closer to him. During this holy week, my mind has been drawn to the events, miracles and teachings shared by the Savior during his final days in mortality. His triumphal entry into Jerusalem, his teaching of the two great commandments, the parable of the ten virgins, his institution of the sacrament of the Last Supper, his intercessory prayer and atoning agony in Gethsemane, his unimaginable suffering on the cross, his resurrection, and his appearance to Mary and his disciples. Book of Mormon prophets foretold the coming of Jesus Christ, his ministry, his suffering, his death, and his resurrection. They also prophesied of the resurrected Savior's visit to the Americas, which is recorded in 3 Nephi. I know this account is true, and I never tire of reading about the Savior's miracles and ministry to those who gathered at the temple in the Land Bountiful. In this painting, we see the resurrected Christ looking upon Mary, and we see her kneeling before him with inexplicable joy and gratitude. It's just him ministering to just her. And I testify that that is how he ministers to us today. Just him to just you and me, one by one. I have felt his love in very personal and sacred ways. And because of that, I know he lives and is the savior of all mankind. I know that because of him, I have been strengthened and can be strengthened in all things. I know his atonement is real and it's infinite. I know that my soul has been redeemed as I exercise faith in him and strive daily to keep his commandments. His mercy is real and I do stand all amazed at the love he offers me and the love he offers you. During this Easter season, I joined with the First Presidency in inviting you to reflect on the infinite atonement of Jesus Christ. Because of him, we can be filled with peace and hope and light. Please join me in finding ways this Easter to honor him as the Savior and Redeemer of the world. Everything he did was because he loves the Father as the obedient Son, and because he loves us. His atonement is infinite and real, and it's also very personal. I testify that he lives I know he will come again in majesty and great glory. I pray we will be able to kneel before the Savior with the same joy and inexplicable gratitude. I love him and testify of these things in his holy name, even Jesus Christ, amen. This Sunday, find your local meeting house at churchofjesuschrist.org.